video on Colossians chapter 3 verse 1 to 17 going over this thing of a changed life after salvation. This is going to be a kick at Calvinism and also this thing of there's no changed life after salvation. This heresy taught by the easy believism crowd. So let's get right into this. And also I want to do, give a little heads up. I'm not the best at reading from a computer. So if I do stutter a bit, just bear with me. Okay, so let's get right into this. This is going to be a kick at, again, a kick at Calvinism and also a kick at this, this the heresy of there's no changed life. Okay, Colossians 3, 1, to, Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 17. And also, if you have a King James Bible, open your Bible and listen and follow along with me. Don't just listen to me, actually follow along with your King James Bible. Okay, let's get right into this. Colossians 3, 1 to 17. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, for Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For we, are, for ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Good verse about the uh, pre-time Jacob's trouble catching away. We appear with him in glory when he appears. Uh, mortify yourselves... I mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil uh, conspicuance, again, not the rest of reading on a computer, consequent, again, I do, just bear with me, and covetousness, which is idolatry, for which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. Uh, in which ye also walked in, or which ye also walked in some time, when ye lived in them, but now ye also put off these, or put off all these, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not to one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and ye have put on the new, on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Yeah, we're made in the image of God. Compare that back to Genesis chapter one. Well, there is neither Greek, nor Jew, nor circumcision, nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond, nor free, but Christ is all in all. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. As above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of per perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the also, or to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Or yeah, uh, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching you and admonishing you one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to, to the Lord. And whatsoever ye, ye do in word and de or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. So talking about putting on the new man, get rid of the old self, you, you put these things away from you, the cursing, the filthy communication, this disproves Calvinism, because Calvinism says there's no free will after salvation, okay, but you have free will, because you have to make the choice to put on the new man, that's free will, okay, also disproves the thing of there's no changed life, because clearly it says you were doing these things, but you're no longer doing them, so you put away these things, so there's a change that happens in your life, that simple. Okay, they're not they're not continuing to lie to each other, do filthy communication, blasphemy, wrath, malice, all this other stuff. There's a change that comes in your life, and there could be years upon years of sanctification to get certain sins, certain errors, certain heresies out of your life. It can take years of sanctification. It can be a long time, and especially if you're a new Christian. You know, I got saved about seven months ago. I've been studying the Word of God before that, but I was a false convert. You know, this is one of the reasons why I don't come out with really really big long Bible studies is because. I'm still studying the Word of God. I come up with simple videos like this about simple stuff, but I don't come up with big, huge studies because I, I don't do that. I'm still learning. So that's why I only come up with simple videos, just simple, short videos about simple doctrines that easy that it's really easy to understand. But you have to put on the new self. There's a change that comes in your life. It can take sanctification. It can take your whole life sometimes to get certain sins out of your life. But it will happen eventually. You know, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things, or behold, all things become new. Or right, paraphrasing, of course. But you're a new creature in Christ. You know, he quickened you. That simple. So this thing of there's no changed life. Well, if you're putting on the new self, your life is changing. That simple. And it's with the help of the Holy Spirit as well. So just had to get that out there. The uh, doctrine of no changed life. It's one of the main, one of the results of this heresy of easy believism. So don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye.